a very significant property in the city of Little Rock in our traditional Quapaw Quarter. It was constructed in 1881. When Designing Women came about, that the general public became aware and everyone started coming to Little Rock to look at the Designing Women house. And the ladies were all here in the 80s. They had a party and there's pictures of them, or posters of them on the porch in their southern hats. Only the exterior was used on the show and so their front door, which on the show is single and here, the double, that always drove me insane. What makes the house significant beyond the Designing Women is it's one of the last remaining architectural styles of this type in the city of Little Rock. You'll find, if you look at the city records, multiple tenants in the, in the building, and it was broken up into apartments. It was, uh, at one point, a dance studio. Another time, it was a boarding house for Alcoholics Anonymous. It was to the point where it just hadn't been well-maintained, and by 1964, the city wanted to demolish the property. A local antiques dealer stepped in, and he purchased the property. It has elements of Italianate architecture, and some elements of Second Empire, and that would be basically the mansard roofs. The exterior is remarkable. I mean, it's just got beautiful proportions, and when you come inside, you can really appreciate the scale of the windows. You get wonderful light. The rooms are wonderfully proportioned. They're large scale. The floors are incredible. The parquet floors have been restored wonderfully. The staircase, the high ceilings, the stenciling, everything about it is extremely over the top and unique.